Okay, so it's that time of year where we're enjoying ourselves outside as much as humanly possible, of course. And we're soaking up some sun and just relaxing and all of a sudden, we are attacked by a million bugs and mosquitoes. So, obvious, bug repellent is a must. But I am super anti-toxic ingredient uh, repellents. So any like DEET products, I'm super, <clears throat> no, absolutely not gonna be putting that on my body because I do not want it to affect my largest organ, which is my skin. When I was in Thailand um, a few years ago, probably four years ago, I have a best friend that lives out there. I had traveled with my sister and a couple of my friends and everybody was like, deet, deet, deet. I'm totally gonna take deet with me. The mosquitoes out there are insane. And I said, nope, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do my own natural, holistic bug repellent. And I'm gonna do it my way. So I went ahead and I made my own bug repellent. And guess what? Guess who was the only mofo who did not get bitten up the whole entire time we were in Thailand? Me. Yep, me. I did not get bitten. Not once. I sprayed it religiously on my wrist, on the back of my ears, on my ankles, and basically just all over my whole entire dang body. But it was the only thing that did not seriously um, let the bugs, you know, attack me. Like everyone else around me wearing DEET, which is so toxic for your whole entire body and system, um, they were actually bitten. I wasn't. So I'm going to show you guys today how to do a natural, holistic bug repellent because now the little buggers, the little critters are coming out and I want you to still be safe and non-toxic about it, but also something that's effective and works. If you do not have the time to make this DIY, I love the Badger Bomb Anti-Bug Shake and Spray. And the other one I really love is the Herbal Instant Repellent from Meow Meow Tweet. All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and make it together. I'm gonna stop rambling. <laughs> You want half a cup of witch hazel. Then we are going to do basically 20 drops of all the essential oils. So here we go, lemongrass. Then you have centronella. I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna do 30 of centronella. Then we have the eucalyptus, my fucking favorite. Then we have the rosemary. Rosemary and castor oil mixed together is actually a really awesome eyelash growth um, solution and eyebrows. So you can get a disposable little brush here, like an eyelash wand, and you can mix rosemary with castor oil, dip it in there, and comb your lashes with it, as well as your eyebrows, and it'll help with growth. We're going to do 20 drops. Ha, 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 ha. All right, peppermint. And then it says a teaspoon of vegetable glycerin, but I'm going to use castor oil instead. So here we go. There's the castor oil. All right, there's that. And slowly pour it in. Oh, Jesus, I always make a mess, I swear. And this is a two ounce spray bottle. Boom, bug repellent. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah, they are not gonna fuck with me. Bam. Don't do the deep. 